Weather and traffic on the sevens. Waking up to clear skies and chilly temperatures this morning throughout the entire region, but just grab a jacket if you are headed out right now. Texas Tech Health Science Center in Northeast El Paso, we're in the 50s. Powell Elementary School, if you live around that area, we're also in the 50s. It is cold. Cloud crop at 39, 40s. Ruidoso, Silver City, 51 dimming. And Las Cruces, you will need the jacket. 52 degrees right now. So once that cold front moved in yesterday, it really dropped our afternoon highs. Yesterday, El Paso, we had a high of 76, running below average. But you can see Alamogordo over the past 24 hours seeing a minus 18 degree temperature difference. So again, jackets at 7 o'clock, 9 o'clock, maybe a light sweater. And then by 11 o'clock, we'll be tracking lots of sunshine. So I recommend the sunglasses. High pressure will be in place for the next several days. So we're going to be experiencing very calm, pretty close to perfect conditions. It'll be quiet, sunny, no showers, thunderstorms, occasional breezes throughout the afternoon. But overall, I think the winds will remain calm calm as well. Future track computer model does keep us dry again. No rain, no green popping up here. Maybe the area mountains, but other than that, it's going to be dry. So if you need to wash your car, you get the green light. Today, Wednesday, Thursday, we'll still be tracking dry conditions. So that's great news for the high school football games. Thursday, Friday, Friday night football forecast does show clear skies, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, we're in the 70s. And then by the 9 o'clock hour, winds will be out of the south around 6 miles an hour. And don't forget, you can always catch the highlights during the Borderland Blitz. 79, that's going to be the high today for Fort Bliss. 80 degrees for Socorro, Clint, and Fabens area wide. Lots of sunshine. 80s for Vinton, Canutheo, and Tornillo. So here's your seven day forecast. We'll warm things up by Thursday, Friday this weekend. We're in the upper 80s running above average. We'll be in the 90s in no time.